But see, you've got to get in a place where you can receive things from God. How do you get there? How, wh what, what causes you to get there? Now, God, that's, that's right. God is not unjust. God is not a respecter of person. You have to settle those issues. And when you start set on those, settling those issues one by one, you'll find that the finger is always pointing it to you. Something wrong with me. What I'm doing, what I'm believing is hindering me. You may not know it, but it's still the truth. And so God hasn't changed. God's a healer. There's been things that's settled. By his stripes we're healed, and that's settled. That's done. It ain't got nothing to do with whether you deserve it or not, whether you're good enough or not. It has got nothing at all to do with that. This is a settled fact. It's not even a promise. It's a fact. There's some promises in God's Word, and there's a difference between a promise and a fact. Amen. Somebody say, God promised to heal me. No, it's a fact that he did. Amen. God didn't promise to save me. It's a fact that he's already made the way, and it's up to you. Praise God. Now, so how do you get there? You get there by believing what God said. You believe his word. You believe what God said about it. And you settle that thing. Now settle it. And if you don't settle it, if that's not enough, then you don't, you don't really believe it. You're believing that, and then you're also believing something else. See, that's the problem. Somebody says you can't believe two things at one time. Not at the same exact time, but you can believe two things. That's what a double-minded man is. He believes two things. He thinks one way, and then he thinks another way. He's wishy-washy. Just like the ship tossed by the waves of the sea, James said. He, wave, he wavers. So he's double-minded. In other words, now he knows what God said, but then he also knows this over here. So he's, a, he's over here one minute, and then he's over here the next minute. He said, don't let that man think that he shall receive anything from God. Oh, that's pretty strong, but it's the truth. Do y'all like the truth? <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. Pretty strong, ain't it? So he said, if you waver all the time, you can't get anything from God. Well, how do you quit wavering? You have to settle some things. Start working on it. Settle some things. Settle some things. God is not a man, and he cannot lie. Well, if he cannot lie, then what's he told? Well, what, some, something else or something else, circumstances or men or professional people or whatever, uh, say something different. Now what do we do, though? God's word is still there. He still said it. He still declared it. Well, amen. What you do, you got to settle on it. Amen. And Brenda was talking about believing with your heart. You have to. There's nothing else to believe with. Somebody said years ago, they thought this way. It wasn't so. He said, I don't believe your heart's down in here. He said, I believe it's up here. What, in your mind? Well, that just shows how little you know about God and his word. I don't mean that in a belittling way, but it's just true. Now, somebody like that is trying to comprehend God with his mind. Well, you can't do that. You know why you can't do it? Think about it. Why can't you do it? Here's why. How can you throw a man in the fire and, and him not burn? Get that one. Figure that out up here. How can you believe that? Throw a man, three men in the fire, heat it seven times hotter, and them not get burned. Now how can you do that? 
How can a Red Sea part? I mean the sea. How can the sea part? How can a virgin conceive? You have to stop trying to figure this stuff out. Will you mind? You can't figure that out. You might as well quit. Somebody say, how can a virgin conceive? Oh, all it's got to happen is, is what? We know that that cannot be. But yet it can be. Huh. Now here we go. Now there you go. We know that it cannot be, yet it can be. There you go. You're, now you're on the right road. Praise God. I said, praise God. Oh, Listen, there's people that don't even believe that God's a miracle worker. They don't even believe that God does things like that. There's Christians that don't even believe, don't even know about these miraculous things that's happened in these men of God in our lifetime. They don't even know it. They don't have a clue of it. Do you know that? 